Healthy Mary. And I'm Ben Dover. And we're here again for um, Public Health Week. So, what's going on today? Uh, today, actually, we're going to be talking about stress. Oh. You know, and I actually relieved my stress with this uh, handy dandy little squiz, squeeze of a jiggy ball that uh, just relieves it. You know, you just got to keep pumping it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, why don't we go to our own Tanisha Tipton, yeah. who may have some better Third tips. Let's go with her, yeah. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Good morning, Long Beach. Today, we are coming to you straight from the Miller Family Health Education Center. This is Tanisha Tipton, bringing you tips on stress management. Hi, my name is Patty LaPlace and I'm the Mental Health Coordinator for the City of Long Beach Department of Health and Human Services. Patty, can you tell us a little bit of what you do? Well, I basically help um, with the coordination of mental health services within the City of Long Beach. I examine gaps in services, provide resources, develop resources, and certainly work within the city in terms of addressing mental health issues that may come up. So we all have those times when we're all overwhelmed and feeling like there's things happen and unexpected events occur. Um, tell us a little bit of how to handle those situations. Well, certainly practicing healthy stress management techniques daily can certainly help us in terms of managing our stress and becoming more productive on the job. So I think one of the first things we need to look at is having a clear vision of what we need to do daily. I think it's very important that when we come into work every day that we set our sights on accomplishing our goals and certainly having a, a clear view of what it is that we need to do and what we're also capable of doing every day on the job. The second thing that we want to look at is we want to be in tune to our environment around us. And oftentimes, you know, stressors are there that we can be proactive in terms of how we deal with these stressors. Being in tune to the people that we work with, being in tune to the people that we serve every day will help us manage our stress in a more manageable level. And Patty, those are amazing techniques. So what do you recommend? I know I'm not the only one here in the city, but what do you recommend to Long Beach viewers what to do during these stressful situations? Well, I think good communication skills are extremely important on the job. And certainly, especially with our supervisor, we want to make sure that our supervisor is aware of what we're doing every day. We want to be able to communicate to our supervisors when we're feeling overwhelmed and when we're feeling stressed. And certainly, having those communication can help manage our stress on a daily level. The other thing is, it's important that we eat properly. And of course, Practicing good nutrition has been known to help people manage the stress effectively every day. And certainly it helps us feel better and we can be more productive on the job. So certainly eating right plays an extremely strong role in our stress management techniques. Is there anything else, any other tips you'd like to share with us? You know, we all live by a creed on life and we think it's important that, you know, have sort of a daily sort of mantra. Something that you can remind yourself every day that you have to remember when you're looking at your stress on the job. Some of us have little messages on the end of our emails. Some of us have little sayings in our office. I'd like to share with you my friend, Big Mouth Billy Bass, and I think that his message that he leaves every day is an important one in terms of how we can manage stress in our daily lives. In the living song I wrote, my point of thing is don't, 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 don't worry. Be happy. So here you are, Long Beach. We brought to you today Patty LaPlace with her amazing tips on how to stay unstressed. So first of all, remember, keep a clear vision. Stay tuned with your environment. Have great communication with your boss. And eat well. And also, don't forget, Motto. Oh, 
Oh, we're back. Oh. Um, now we're, uh, those are, those are some great tips from Tanisha Tipton. That's right. And next we have our very own Ivana Askelot out in the field as usual. Ivana? Good morning, Long Beach. This is Ivana Askelot, and I'm here this morning with... Mimi Lachika. And Mimi, what is it that you do here at the Long Beach Health Department? I'm the lab director for Long Beach Public Health Lab. How long have you been with the health department? This is my 23rd year, believe it or not. Wow. And prior to that, I was with LA County Public Health Lab. Great. So I've been around. What is your educational background? I earned my Bachelor of Science degree with a minor in chemistry from Cal State Long Beach and an MA degree from Cal State LA in uh, health science with emphasis on lab management. What is the best part of your job? Being able to uh, overcome a challenge. And I say a challenge, you know, we're faced with many challenges, but if I can at least overcome one challenge, I'm happy. Um, problem being able to solve a problem, of course, I, you know, with the help of my very capable staff, I'm able to do that. They're wonderful. I'm blessed with such wonderful and, and smart people. Antibacterial gel, yes or no? Yes. 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 What is your personal favorite element? Or no. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can say I, I really have one. But I, I guess uh, the only thing I, that comes to mind, because we do a lot of it, is lead. And uh, it is our second uh, highest uh, revenue generator for the laboratory. So I guess, you know, um, having said that, I guess it would be lead. Right on. <laughs> lead testing. Are you offended by the term mad scientist? Mad scientist? No, I'm not. Not at all. I take it as a compliment. So Mimi, yes. what is going on for Halloween? <laughs> is the lab coming back this year? We've missed you guys. You have. I'm, I'm sure you have. I it hasn't know. been the same. I'm not going to say anything. It's a surprise for you guys to find out. So just be ready. Here's a joke for you. Okay. See if you get the answer. What is the dullest element? The dullest element? I don't know. Borium. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I wouldn't even ask who came up with that. <laughs> Tell the truth. Do you sleep here some nights? No, I don't. But I have been accused of um, doing that. <laughs> By yourself, though. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. <laughs> no, but I have not done that. Because I'm, I'm here very early and I, I'm one of the last ones to leave, yes. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mimi. We you really learned a lot. Thank you. You are very welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. And we're back. Thank you, Ivana, for, again, all of that wonderful information. Ivana does ask the very hard question. Tomorrow is our pancake breakfast and staff appreciation meeting. Hope you guys can join us there. Outside on the lawn. It's all healthy here. And also, don't forget to stop by the lab today for Lab Open House. Oh, the lab. Oh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I got my specimen right here. Guys, so you guys can check it out. Tell me everything's good. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Long Beach. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Almost drinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>